let's try another one. Anybody know what this is? I have the faintest idea. Will you tell us? I will. It's a self-destructor and it works like this. Right. We've got about 60 seconds before the whole ship blows up. Is that bang big enough for you, Brigadier? Nicely done, Doctor. Well, that's the end of the Zygons, eh? Not entirely. Broton escaped, and he still has control of the monster. He plans to attack some target in London. Close to the Thames, huh? Exactly. And this time, it'll be something really spectacular. I've just remembered. When I spoke to the PM earlier, she was about to leave for Stanbridge House. And that's on the river. Yes. Now, I do remember that, uh, some more about that, it was called a Terror of the Zygons. Uh, I so admired those, uh, uh, that technology there, which used to make me howl with laughter at the time. I used to think it looked like early pizzas, and we used to squeeze it and everything. And the Zygons, the uh, later things about, they, they, they didn't talk very loudly. Uh, they used to say, open this door, which I thought was a wonderful contrast in the way villains usually talk. Um, I don't remember too much more about this. I wonder, was it directed either by David Maloney or by, by Dougie Campfield? Um, and we had a lot of fun doing it, and John Woodnut, who played that kind of uh, distinguished chap from the Foreign Office or something there with the officer's greatcoat on, was killingly funny and very acute in what he did. He really gave it a lot of quality there. And it was nice to see Nick back, and I adored that joke, which was quite prophetic, wasn't it? about I've been talking to the Prime Minister and she said, I mean, that was such a long time ago. And I remember us yelling with laughter that earlier in the plot when they said to Nick, uh, Leth, Brigadier, uh, the Prime Minister's on the phone. And, and he picked up the phone and he said, yes, madam. And I remember we all laughed. It, it seemed inconceivable then. And now we've had her and she's had us. And now she's gone. <laughs>